Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of something new for you guys today. Today we are going to be playing Overfall. Overfall is a new game by, I think, Para Games is who it's, they're called? P-E-R-A. -E uh, this game is scheduled for re release March 1st, 2016, uh, so about two weeks out. And uh, I'm really, I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, this was one that I had uh, seen a little while back. And uh, we're going to be doing something pretty interesting with this. But let me explain uh, kind of what the game is here. Uh, Overfall is a fantasy role-playing game of rough diplomacy and tough action. Explore, negotiate, and fight your way across the high seas. You will lead two heroes on a journey across the high seas in search of their lost king. You will encounter people of many breeds and creeds, and ally with them or crush them without mercy. You will face many dangers, survive them, and you may unlock new characters, weapons, and skills. In a world where death is permanent, you must return to the beginning and make a fresh start. <clears throat> so your heroes you choose, the weapons you unlock, and the world that is randomized mean not, or mean that no two adventures will ever be the same. That's right. That is that is a pretty awesome little uh, little thing that we're going to be seeing a part of this. Uh, also, we are going to be introducing the Patreons and Game Wisp supporters in this series. So, uh, if you are a Game Wisp supporter or a Patreon supporter or a Twitch supporter. Uh, you guys will have a chance to have your name put into this game. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into a new game. Enter the portal. So we got Jervis. This is uh, this one. I'm going to start right off the bat. And I'm, I'm, I want this guy to survive. So for those of you that uh, don't join me in uh, my live streams won't get this joke. But uh, our first hero right off the bat is going to be named Harem. And then our another hero over here my lady is going to be called shiny that's right so we've got some classes we got a fighter and a cleric that's really the only ones that we have available to us and so we have one cleric one fighter uh we have a main ability that is leaps to target or leaps to target hex deals two damage to foes um so these are kind of our abilities and then we have some weapons and so it looks like there are some weapons that we can kind of change to. Oh no, these are the abilities. Oh, we can change the weapons here. There's Blood Fang. So all this stuff we have to unlock as we go. And then we have some uh, abilities here as well. It looks like we have all the ones we have. So applies Vulnerable and removes one buff. Uh, applies Disarm and Immobilize. It applies Vigor. Okay. And then we have some trinkets here. I'm not going to get into the trinkets just yet, but we have our cleric. Uh, she's got the light bearer, and uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter the portal. Press one, two, three, four to heal party menders by spending food. Control one. Okay, armor piercing works against armor protection, absorb, and reduction. All right, you've made it through the portal and back to your home world. Yes, I can't believe my eyes. You're them. It's true. It, it's been three centuries since you've entered the portal, and now you're back. Ooh, ah. Okay, uh... What do I do? Oh, oh, there's there's stuff that we gotta click. I am the last member alive of the portal keepers. In other words, my family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just turn down the music here just, just a bit. We'll leave our, our kind of sounds there. Um, three centuries have passed. How? Portal Keepers. I'm going to go with Portal Keepers. The name my family has been carrying. Uh, we watched the portal for generations and for the day you will return. The same duty descended from me or from my parents to me. Three centuries. That means everyone we knew is dead. I'm sorry. I know how it feels. I've lost my beloved ones to, uh, on my quest too, but you must focus now. All right, um, so yeah, three centuries. Uh, with Old Man explains as much as he can. God knows for my generations. Special bubbles. Each character has a unique personality trait that contributes to their viewpoint on the certain situations. These special dialogue options will appear in yellow. Okay, so I think there's been an anomaly in time. We entered the portal. Uh, I am lucky to fulfill my family prophecy. You have the wisdom. Understand the difference. Not many could foresee that this would happen, except for one wizard. Why have you been waiting for us? 
A mighty wizard, Ezil, gave his gave this quest to my grand uh, my grand grandfather for the day you will return. This world isn't the same since you left. The Ever King has gone missing. The Almighty Ever King has gone missing. The Citadel has vanished long ago. No one knows why or how. But Ezil, Ezel, Ezel, yeah, let's go with Ezel. Left my family a message to hide and deliver to you when this day comes. A message. Uh, two beacons will be unsealed only to those who have revered, who are revered, sorry, uh, their light will unveil the path to your king. Only when the races of dice deem, uh, the races of dice, the deeds, deem you worthy. That we should introduce ourselves to the leader of dice first, and then we can go find those beacons. That's true, you should make yourself way up to society first times change the world is in chaos uh do you have anything else that might aid us on our journey do you have anything else that might aid us on our journey we got one dust take this careful not to forget uh careful with the everguards while carrying too much dust thanks for everything we better be on our way farewell how is this encounter um cool i i guess let's let's not do the feedback during our playthrough i'll go with that okay so, okay, so it's kind of like point and click. I gotcha. All right. So this is the portal. We've been here. Right? So, are these like other players? Forsaken ship? Dwarf ship? All right, let's come down here to the grassland end. You're resting in a warm inn. Buy something to eat. Return to your ship and sit still. Let's talk with the man standing over there. Want to play a game of cards? Do you have a few frags to spare? Refuse, accept. Let's try it! Uh, the one with the best hands wins. You place a bet, you check your hand. If you're out, you lose your bet. If you're in and you lose, you lose all of your bet. You lose half your bet if you're out, okay? Uh, let's bet... Uh, how many frags do we have? Food, rune, frag. We only got two... Uh, as the cards are shuffled, your hand is very weak. I'm out. Better safe than sorry. Continue. Let's bet two frags again. Your hand is weak. I'm in. Next round, maybe. Oh! Yeah, we have to leave the game. We're out of frags! Oh, no. Alright, let's go ahead and return to our ship. And continue sailing. So we have... The Grassland Settlement. Let's head over here. Whoa! Don't know what that was, but it was loud. Uh, a thief has stolen from the Hollows living in a human village. You get you get to decide whether to let the Hollows punish him themselves or hand the thief into the Everguard to be punished by human laws. Uh, let the Hollows punish him. Punish the thief yourself. Uh, rob the Hollows. Uh, give the thief to the Everguards. I think that would be good. The Hollows are unhappy with your decision. Uh, we will take this from here, civilians, to serve and protect. Okay, that's all we can do is leave, okay. Uh, we'll come down to here, the Swamp Island. Such a thriving marketplace. Trade commodities. See about upgrading your equipment. Food for frags, frags for dust, dust for food, and... Okay. Let's see about upgrading our equipment. Yeah, we have insufficient funds all across the board. All right, let's go ahead and back to our ship. Let's see if we can find something to delve into. Ooh, did I run into a spot? Uh, this ship is crewed by a group of Forsaken whose cloudy eyes and mellow tones seem to contain the realm of mystery. Speak, stranger. Directions, attack them and destroy the ship. Sail on, ask if they need any help. Attack them. All right, so this is our first bit into combat. Movement phase is where you move your character and target hex uh, hotkeys one and two. So let's uh, move character. Utility phase applies vigor, applies disarm, target enemy range adjacent. Okay, three. No, I can't do that. All right. So let's skip. Actually, let's just do two. 
We have Vigor. And then the weapons phase this is where you use the weapon you're dealing to deal direct damage to your enemy. Note, uh, unwalkable offers skipping a phase. Yeah, because they're not anywhere close to uh, us. So we can skip this phase. So she's going to move. Oh, wow. She can do like an ability like across the map. Uh, pulls target ally three hexes, apply protection, and restore two HP. I'm going to say move to here. Applies regeneration. Yeah. Or actually, let's do this. And heal ourselves. And now we can do adjacent target enemy. Radius of four. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Okay, he's moving up. He's probably going to attack. All right. So let's just do a heroic... Oh, no. Can I not do a heroic leap? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that was a little bit of damage. Awesome. Make him vulnerable. No, I guess I can't. Disarm. And then deal four damage, four damage, four damage. Uh, applies mortal wounds to targets with bleeding. All right, so we should chop him first. Oh, she was so angry. Like, it, she's blind. It's traumatized. It's all bad. All around bad. All right, so let's go ahead and move up here. And then dispel can remove two debuffs and then can we no we can't do that can we do that wave of light okay we can't really do much of anything so we'll just skip our turn all right so i'm gonna skip moving uh i'm gonna apply a vigor and then we he's is he not bleeding anymore i guess he's not bleeding anymore all right, we have attacked. Okay, that's some sort of vigor. Holy cow. Okay, you are... Let's come around here. Uh, applies regeneration. Regen, my friend. And we'll do two. Very nice. Uh-oh. Oh, you're going to hurt me, huh? All right, skip. Let's do apply as vulnerable. Gotcha. And then cut. All right, she needs to get healed, like almost ASAP. All right, so we got that. Dispel, scream, applies fear. Dispel. All right, and then... Okay, what is this? Deal three damage. That should heal me up a little bit. All right. Uh, we'll stay where we're at. We'll apply Vigor. And then attack. You are gone, my friend. You are gone. Where are you going? You trying to heal? Fine, be that way. All right. Um, all right, let's skip this turn. Plans regeneration. Yes, let's let you regen. And I can't quite hit, so we'll skip our turn. And then we're going to come moving up here. Uh, Plans vulnerable, radius, range. Yeah, we can't really do much of anything, can we? Range, range, yeah. Where are you going? Ooh, she's hurt bad. Um, let's move her back. Uh, heal? Slightly, or at least remove a debuff. Um, oh gosh, she's still kind of out of my range here, though. Let's move over to here. Kind of block her off just a little bit. Um, okay. Three. Immobilize. And let's uh, let's execute. Why not? Oh, that does a good amount of damage. Oh, 
Shiny, don't die, Shiny. Alright, Shiny, you're okay. Okay, you can't do that. Alright, let's skip. Let's uh, apply regeneration. And I still can't attack, which is unfortunate here. So let's skip. Oh, you were like just out of my range, aren't you? Um, earthquake. Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh, I think we might lose Shiny here. Shiny's down to four. Oh, it only took one damage. Oh, you healed. Okay, that was a little strange. All right, let's skip. Um, debuff screams in fear. <laughs> All right, well, that doesn't do much, but attack. Nice. Okay, let's move up. Gonna apply vigor. And then attack. Nice. You've killed the Forsaken. You searched the remains and found something of value. Harem gain rigorous. Increased accuracy stat by 5%. Focus is the essential gem in rough combat, and this hero obviously is all about it. And Forsaken reputation, negative one. All right, let's sail on. Okay, that noise is really loud, so I'm hoping that that's... That sounds kind of independent. Um, auto use food. Okay. Whoa. Uh, pirates, I use especially as you board the ship. Are you hurt? Um, we need some manpower for bounty hunting job that's going round. I do it myself, but I'm not as good at running as I used to be. You look like you're in, decent, in for a decent hunt. All right, uh, let's see what they have to offer. Chat between themselves before letting you know the hunt. Okay, here we go. Go on. Power continues. This is a, There is a mysterious cloak. It's called the Tarn Cape. They say the Tarn Cape is owned by a brutal dwarf king in a magical cloak. Makes the wearer invisible. We believe a vain elves stole it, the item from the orcish or orc garrison recently. Help us hunt it and you will be rewarded handsomely. Let's help him. Quest. Okay, all right. Well, marking map. We'll see you there. Sail on. All right. If you have an injured character to restore health, use the food buttons below their portrait. Okay, uh, food, five, ten, HP. <laughs> what is that? Like, why is it so loud? Holy cow. That is, like, the loudest thing ever. All right, for two... Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. Um, let's see. Open in-game menu. Like, that is, like, the loudest thing ever. All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to wrap up for today, guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode where we're bounty hunting with the pirates. Again, if you want to check this game out, you can do so in the description down below. There will be a link. You can add it to your Steam wish list, or, you know, just check it out on my channel tomorrow. All right, guys. My name is Drax. Have a good one.